Hi and welcome back. So the YouTube video that's titled the best oil for longevity is no longer olive oil. It's one tablespoon of this that was produced by the YouTube channel Thomas DeLauer is seven minutes and 25 seconds in duration. Let's break that down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember now that I've retired, I watch around 20 to 30 longevity type videos every day, as well as reading articles, blogs, and scientific studies. And I only review and produce videos like this one from Thomas DeLauer that I think will give real value. So although it is a critique of the original content, it is most certainly not a negative criticism. Thomas DeLauer starts by challenging the prevailing belief about the best oil for longevity, shifting focus from olive oil to another type of fat. He dives into the research surrounding lifespan extension and the effects of different fats on health. The discussion is based on a study comparing the impacts of various fats on lifespan of mice under caloric restriction, revealing surprising findings about the best fat for longevity. He begins by questioning common arguments about a high versus low protein diets and also about caloric restriction. He then moves on to discuss the role of different fats in lifespan extension, highlighting a study conducted on rodents that tested the effects of soybean oil, fish oil and lard on lifespan under caloric restriction. Lard showed the most significant lifespan extension despite the common beliefs surrounding fish oil's huge amount of health benefits. He then goes on to discuss the composition of lard, emphasizing its balance of saturated and monounsaturated fats. And he suggests that when we're in a caloric deficit, the risks associated with saturated fats are greatly diminished. Thomas also touches on the debate over saturated versus unsaturated fats and their impact on longevity. Here, he advocates for a balanced intake of monounsaturated fats like olive oil and avocado oil, alongside moderated consumption of saturated fats. He ends by stressing the importance of overall diet quality over strict caloric restriction, and this is for longevity, suggesting a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and a balance of fats for optimal health. So it looks like lard is now the new olive oil, and I'd specifically like to hear from, say, the vegans and what they think about lard when it comes to olive oil, as far as longevity is concerned, now being out. 